Hey guys, I'm Jay and today's teacher training session is about the word whom. Uh, whom means what person or which people. Uh, it comes from Old English and it's mainly used in the objective case. Now I have to say it's kind of disappearing from our language. We see it used a lot by politicians and uh, people that uh, want to use a kind of elegant form of English. I love it. Uh, my mother used to use it all the time and would correct me if I, if I incorrectly used the object pronoun whom. There's a series called Blacklist and there's the main actor is Raymond Reddington. He's a master criminal and a genius and he dominates the English language and likes to flaunt his use of elegant English and you'll quite often see him using the form whom. Uh, who is more commonly used, although I have to say on the streets today, um, who is used as an object pronoun in informal spoken English. Uh, for example, uh, with who are you speaking? Okay, in, in my personal opinion, it's a little grammatically incorrect, uh, but hey, everybody's using it, so we, we have to accept that. Um, a good way to test uh, if it is the right way to use it is you can restructure the phrase. So restructure it with he or she or him or her. For example, uh, with whom are you speaking? The answer is I'm speaking with him. So if, the, if him fits in there, then whom is the correct choice. Uh, an example of a prepositional phrase is uh, with whom are you speaking? This form exists in Portuguese and uh, it's com quem, com quem você está falando. So if you feel yourself wanting to say com quem, go ahead, let your hair down, in your case, and, and use it, use with whom, with whom are you speaking. Okay, it's a very elegant form uh, and it's quite easy for Brazilians to implement and, and integrate into their learning quite early in the English learning process. Um, with whom did you go? The more common form would be, who did you go with? Here's an example of whom as the object of a verb. Uh, whom did you ask? And here's an example with whom as the object of a preposition. With whom are you going? I read somewhere that it's, it's kind of disappearing from our language. It's, an, it's from Middle English and quite often those words do disappear. But I sincerely hope that it doesn't. It's a really elegant form and I say bring back the whom. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Just do all the liking, sharing stuff on the social networks and uh, até ao próximo. Ciao for now.